How do we use a compressor in Reaper to raise the overall volume of our vocal? So I won't go into too much detail about what a compressor is. I'm just going to show you how to use one. So let's go to the effects button here to show the track effects on this narration track. I could actually do a little search for comp and it shows you various compressors and I will select the rear comp. What I'm going to do is a ratio of four to one on my compressor. And I'm going to tick these two boxes, auto makeup gain and limit output. Then what I'm going to do is slide this threshold down until it's just sort of um, creeping into where the audio is reaching. And that should result in just a couple of decibels of gain reduction on the biggest peaks of audio. And it will also raise the average volume. You hear the, the sound get louder as I do it. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Goldilocks. She went walking in the woods one day and smelt something delicious coming from over the hill. So she followed her nose and came to a little cottage. So that was giving us around about minus 2.9 of gain reduction at some of those uh, peaks. It shows me the peak there of minus 2.9. Um, so that there is a pretty good level of compression. It's not over overdoing it. Let's just look what happens if I were to overdo it. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Goldilocks. She went walking in the woods one day and smelt something delicious coming from over the hill. One thing you notice when I overdid it is it really raised the volume of my breaths to an annoying level, didn't it? So I would um, definitely not go overboard. Come back to where I was. Let's reset this. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Goldilocks. She went walking in the woods one day and smelt something delicious coming from over the hill. So she followed her nose and came to a little cottage. Great, so I'm pretty happy with that. I probably would go through and edit those breaths out or use a gate to keep them out. But for the purposes of this video, we have managed to raise the overall volume. Let's just check out down the bottom here. Uh, previously, our voice was coming out at- And smelt something delicious coming from over the hill. So she followed her nose and came to- Coming out at about minus 14. Now you might say to me, why don't you just raise the volume of the track there? Sure, that works. And smelt something delicious coming from- But it has the danger of actually uh, peaking out and exceeding the, the safe area of gain and causing distortion. So compression is a much safer way. So I'm gonna double click this and reset it to zero. And you'll see now, instead of peaking out about minus 15, it's actually gonna peak out a lot louder. Put the effect back on. And smelt something delicious coming from over the hill. So she followed her nose. Okay, we're getting around minus six, which is a really good level for our narration to be peaking out. We will have our audio, our music, and any sound effects underneath possibly. And um, having the vocals coming out at minus six is probably gonna end up at a pretty good level. Hopefully that answers your question of how do I put a compressor onto a voice to help raise the overall volume.